Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. So before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, the Ring Magazine has decided to create a pound for pound list for women boxing. Believe it or not, there hasn't really been uh, a good list out there uh, when it comes to tracking uh, female boxers, uh, you know, ranking them up pound for pound. And um, the Ring Magazine has decided to create a list. And if you go to the website, you could just go to ratings. Actually, right here, let's go to, ra I'll show you guys. Go to ratings. And um, it says right there, view women's ra ratings. And it will show. Um, female boxers and here is their list pound for pound and they show also for the weight divisions from one 102 top 5 102 to 168 so here's the list Katie Taylor is number one Clarissa Shields number two three Cecilia Brackus four Jessica McCaskill five Amanda Serrano six Delphine Persoon 7. Jessica Bop 8. Daniela Bermudez 9. Marcella Aquana 10. Michaela Mayer Yeah, the one that raises an eyebrow is this one right here. Number 3 and number 4. Cecilia Brackus and Jessica McCasco. I honestly have no idea why the ring has decided to put Cecilia over Jessica when Jessica defeated Cecilia. Does that make sense to you? And that was not like... That was not long ago. It was just recently. So I don't understand this part. I have no idea. Doesn't make sense to me. So, yeah. Uh, KD is number one. Um, in my opinion, I think it should be Clarissa Shields. But I guess since KD fought 17 times. And she's already defended her undisputed status once. Um, you know, might as well see this i mean might might as well put her at number one i guess for ring magazine but in my opinion i think it's still i should be clarissa shields yes she has only fought 10 times but i feel like she's proven more in her 10 pro fights compared to katie taylor katie taylor has that one blemish in her career and that's the first fight against delphine the second fight she won you know more convincingly i i would say but it, it was still a competitive fight um but you know, the Ring Magazine thinks otherwise, I guess. So yeah, Clarissa is number 2. 10-0. Um, should be number 1 in my opinion. I feel like she's she's done more pound for pound wise. 168, 160, and 154. She's won world titles in all those weight divisions. I feel like she... And she's fought top compet uh, competitors. I feel like she should be number 1. But that's just me. Again, I don't know how Cecilia is number 3. But she is for a reason. For some reason. Um, she has that one loss and that was against Jessica McCaskill. She lost her undisputed status after that fight. I guess it's because she's been around for a long time. I mean, she's been around since 27, 2007. Um, you know, I guess they were like, uh, that one loss is okay. So let's put him at number, let's put her at number three. I guess that's how, that's what they were thinking Ring Ring Magazine. Uh, Jessica McCaskill, um, she defeated Cecilia. So she should be above, right? That's that that it just doesn't make sense how Jessica's below um Cecilia, but you know, it is what it is. Uh Jessica, um yeah, you know, I've seen her fight a couple times. Good fighter. Um Yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing more of her. And hopefully uh I think she's gonna get a rematch against Cecilia actually. I think that's what they're planning. Um so we'll see. We'll see how that one play out. So so yeah, I only lost twice. Against Katie Taylor in 2017 and against Fisher in 2016, her second pro fight. Um, Amanda Serrano, multi weight division champion, won champions in seven divisions. Uh, definitely top four, top top five in my opinion. Amanda Serrano. Um, uh, yeah, she's definitely one of the top fighters. Uh, would I put her above Cecilia or Jessica? Probably not. So I, I think she's in the she's in a good spot at number five. 
Uh, number six, Delphine Persoon. Um, you know, she, owned, she her main losses were against Kitty Taylor. The other loss was way early in her career against uh, Zelda Tekken. That was her loss before fighting Kitty Taylor. But she's definitely proven that she belongs in the top of this list. Uh, Jessica Bob, to be honest, I have no idea who she is. Um, looking at her resume, don't recognize anybody, but she is a champion at light flyweight 108 um but yeah i honestly have no idea who she is danielle ramina bermudez another fighter i have no idea there's, there's actually some really good argentinian female boxers i have no idea who she is as well um looking at her resume she fought jessica bob she lost her twice huh to be honest, I have no idea who she is too. Another Argentinian, Marcela Acuna. I believe she's number nine. And I have no idea who she is also. Champion at 122. Or one, yeah, 122. Huh. No idea who she is also. And Michaela Mayer is someone I know. Um, for her to be at number 10, I, I think they probably didn't think can't think of any other names probably <laughs> they were like who else would we put number 10 i guess let's put the killer mayor who's you know she's a world champion yes she is she, she won the title against eva brodnika but at the same time it's like i feel like she still has more to prove but then again you know i don't really follow female boxing um you know i try my best to follow as many fighters as i can i mean i've seen katie taylor fight clarissa shields uh, cecilia brackets uh, Breakhouse, Breakhouse, I think that's how you pronounce it properly. Jessica Mikasa, Amanda Serrano, Delphine Persoon, Michaela Mayer. These three I've never seen before. These Argentinians, never seen them before. And it's a good, I think it's good that they made this list for the weight divisions too, because now we could see other fighters who are in this weight division. So hopefully, uh, they keep it updated. And, um, you know, I look forward. And yeah, no, it looks like they have vacant. They have a bunch of vacant ring titles. Huh. So, yeah. Uh, looking forward to seeing more of the uh, these fights. Hopefully, they, Clarissa Shields can prove the ring that she's number one. I think she is. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the list. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.